hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to do this assignment using c programming i have done the same assignment using raptor you can go ahead and watch that i made a video on that already here what has to happen is we have to get an input from the user that's going to be an isbn number that's going to be 12 digit number in the 12 digit the first number is going to be multiplied by one then we add the add it with second digit by the second digit multiplied by three and then third digit multiplied by one and the fourth digit multiplied by three it goes like one three one three one three and when you add them together it's going to give give us 93 for this number it's 93 and when we divide that one by 10 the remainder is going to be three because 93 divided by 10 the remainder is three and after that we have to subtract that remainder from 10 10 minus 3 that should give us 7 that's what we are, we had to program now let's go ahead and begin okay first i'm going to declare some variables here this is a long digit like 12 digit number so i'm going to introduce unsigned unsigned long long integer integer and i introduce isbn and also i introduce another variable that's called copy isbn copy isbn okay after that we initialize some variables like integer integer count i initialize that one with one and then i in initialize sum with zero then reminder is reminder reminder is reminder and digit and also we have to declare a check digit okay now we have declared variables okay now the next thing is now we have to we have to get the user's input so we have to give a prompt to the user the prompt is going to be enter the first 12 digit of the ISBN 13 enter the first 12 digits of an ISBN 13 okay this is going to be the prompt to the user and to get the input from the user we have to use a scan of statement let's leave a space like this okay now we have to get a uh, we have to give a scan of statement to get get the input input from the user okay since we are using long long integer we have to put percentage l l u and whatever the value user enter is going to be stored in isbn so we have to put ampersand isbn right here and that's it for this one now <coughs> now include we are going to create another function let's copy this one include copy and paste it hmm we don't need another function okay let's see what can we, we after that we are going to equate this copy isbn copy isbn to isbn isbn and then i'm going to use a while loop in this while loop the condition has to be copy isbn has to be greater than zero copy isbn has to be greater than zero when it's greater than zero it's going to enter this loop in this loop we are going to get the last digit of the isbn to get the last digit we we equalize this one digit to equal to copy isbn copy isbn and if you divide this one by 10 and find out the remainder that's going to give us the last digit now after that we have to check whether it's a even number or odd number if it's even we have to multiply the digit by one so to find out that we have to set an if statement in this if statement i'm going to set a condition that is count the remainder divided by two because if it's an even when you divide by two you have to get a remainder zero if it's zero it's going to enter this if statement and in, in in this if statement we are going to set an equation that is sum is equal to sum plus digit 
digit multiplied by one okay i put this one in a bracket okay this is the equation and also here we initialize count with one okay and then if it's not uh, an even number if it's not an even number we are going to create another equation else sum is equal to sum is equal to sum plus sum plus digit multiplied by 3 digit multiplied by 3 and also we set count is equal to 2 count is equal to 2 okay now that's it for this one now we have to divide the copy isbn by 10 to do that i equate copy isbn copy isbn is equal to copy isbn divided by 10 copy isbn divided by 10 and after that we have to find out the reminder to find the reminder here we put reminder reminder is equal to sum divided by 10 and uh, we have to find out the check digit to find out the check digit we use check digit check digit is equal to 10 minus reminder uh, like if you remember previously we have 93 when we divide by 10 the reminder was 3 the take the check digit is 10 minus 3 and that gonna give us 7 that's what we have to get okay 10 minus 10 minus reminder okay reminder and then finally we give, give a printf statement in this printf statement we are going to print out the check digit because previously you can see the operation like we multiply the first like i explain again we are multiply the isbn number first digit by one the second digit by three okay let's uh, double check first digit by one and the second digit by three third digit by one fourth digit by three so we have to continuously do that until 12 and that was equal to 93 and then we divide this one by 10 the reminder was three for that and we subtract that reminder from 10 and we got 7 that's the check digit okay that's what we are getting right now finally we have to print out the check digit that's the that's the purpose of this assignment now the check digit check digit percentage d percentage d and whatever the value stored in check digit has to print so we put check digit right here and that's it now let's go ahead and run this one let's go ahead and see whether we have any error okay we have some errors integer count one some reminder check digit oh this has to be together i declared without a uh, with a space let's see where is that here we go it shouldn't be there shouldn't be a space okay i'm missing a semicolon somewhere reminder okay i missing semicolon here let's see is there anything else that's it let's run this one also i'm mixing another semicolon let's see where it is here we go okay now it's asking you to enter the first 12 digit of the i of an isbn i i do the same thing like i try this one so we can clearly see what's the outcome is we have to get seven for that okay i copy paste it doesn't work okay now let me get rid of these dashes Okay, 978 let me double check the number 978 0 306 406 0 306 406 
and finally we have to have one five one five okay let's enter we are getting seven so it's working properly and if you're trying to access like if you want this code you can uh, check this one in my blogger i put the link of my blogger in the description and also if you are trying to learn c or c plus plus programming there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time